Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty crazy stuff when it comes to the PlayStation 5 stack situation, where we're now actually seeing even more limitations on what people can buy, how they can buy it, and the list of actually folks that are also chosen on where and what they can go and buy. And this is also at least kind of a somewhat good sign too, because it is also helping against scalpers and botters and all that, but as well, once again, it's just showing on how hard it is to go and find the consoles, especially all throughout the entire world. Now, this is a very peculiar thing too as well because we haven't really had a chance to see this at least so far in some certain retailers where while instead of it just being selective, it's more so just, well, maybe just ARP charge you. So think GameStop or Ant Online or bundles and all of that, or even the brand new Horizon bundles. So this is an even more peculiar side. So let's go and talk about this, talk about the struggles, and also somewhat talk about at least the potential good when it comes to hoping out against PS5 scalpers in the first place. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below, Twitter and Twitch room down below, Weeble and Target and all those good things as well. We've seen a lot of Target stock still popping on in down below and let's dive in the video. So as we've kind of seen throughout different regions and different locations, we've seen a very wide variety of how they have also been affecting for both scalpers and also allowing folks to get stock out. Some really good curious places are the fact that in India, where they basically just do a once a month-ish huge restock away from most big retailers, almost like an event. And also some places like Japan that have been very, very, very hardcore in terms of raffles. We've kind of been seeing that a little bit with Walmart Plus, Qs, PlayStation Direct, Qs, etc., etc. And this is another one where now we're seeing even more bigger limitations. So, with this... The PlayStation 5 stock situation in Japan is literally so dire and bad because they have the demand is there, just not the console. <laughs> you know, it's the scary part that as of right now, only PS4 owners are actually allowed to even buy and get the console. Now, first and foremost, just off the headline, I find that kind of intriguing, mainly just because when it comes to stock with it, the PS4 Obviously, the prior predecessor, and it kind of does go and support the people who have been supporting the brand. We had a lot of folks also bring up this same statement when it came to the PlayStation Directs in their email invites in general, invite queues forever ago, where a lot of folks were like, hey, if I've been a PS Plus member for five years, I should probably have a higher precedent over someone who doesn't even have a console. Now, I'm someone that's kind of in that same boat. I do like to reward folks, but of course, obviously, I'd want to have a little bit of everyone. Maybe like a 50-50 split would have been nice, but it does kind of make sense, and this is kind of letting people just basically be like, hey, you have to have prior, I guess, commitment when it comes to these consoles. So the PS5 stock situation in Japan has hit a new low as a local retailer now is only allowing existing PS4 owners to buy a new console. The retailer, Geo, has resorted to a, a rather fascinating countermeasure for the low supply of PS5 consoles in Japan after previous countermeasures were thwarted by scalpers. And once again, I'm sure you guys know, even in America still, although thank God it's kind of calmed down a little bit, botters, scalpers, and people just buying out stock are still on a very, very high level. But in other regions such as Japan, China, India, South America, Mexico, Canada, Europe especially too, are still plagued by scalpers and botters everywhere because the profitability is still there. It's still profitable here in America too as well. So until now, the retailer had implemented various resale measures jointly with manufacturers, but it claims that there was an, still an increasing trend of scalpers acquiring the consoles through then fraudulent means. And this is why it gets crazy in how, like, what extremes some of these people are willing to go through. They were using fake IDs on the Geo Online Store and Geo App. Therefore, the company is now looking to offer a PS5 directly to people who already own a PS4. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense. We, I think we even saw some folks even in America doing that. It's kind of like when people were selling their PlayStation direct email invites where they already got a console. So they're like, hey, if you both sell you one for 20 bucks, 50 bucks, just cash at me really quick. I'll do a two minute deal and you get to go have some good money. And at the end of the day, yeah, that's cool, I guess. But it's still, like, sketchy. It's using someone else's account. What if they try to scam it? Use your credit card for, like, buying different games in the future. Like, there's always a lot of worries with it. And also, when it comes to scalpers, some of these folks are able to just get a console in pretty much almost any way they wanted to or could uh, as well if they could. So, so basically, it provided a customer at Geo 
is able to secure an opportunity to purchase a PS5, they will now be required to sell their PS4 to the retailer as a result of a countermeasure against scalpers. <laughs> now, this one's a little bit on a weirder side, too, because obviously, what if someone wants to keep their PS4? What if the retailer itself is not giving you a good deal? This would be like the equivalent of, say, GameStop. You're like, hey, we'll give you 50 bucks for your PS4 or PS4 Pro, and you can have a chance to buy a PS5. Which I can maybe, you guys can maybe give your thoughts and comments because I do think that's a little sketch and a little weird. In my true, honest opinion, like, I don't know, maybe just like show, like, show you even have it. I don't know, bring it up in the store. <laughs> but there is still a pretty big market, even for PS4s. So, I mean, maybe it's not the world's worst. I mean, you guys can give your comments. Uh, I've heard a lot of people throughout the years that are like, hey, like, I'd gladly trade in my PS4 and just go get my money, or I'd gladly just do the upgrade, because I just want the better, you know, SSD, better graphics, better GPU, etc. So, let me know if this seems weird. I'm on the opposite end, where I think I could probably get more money from my PS4 itself, like if you sell on eBay or whatever, on that type of stuff. Give it to your friend, give it to a sibling, brother, sister, someone who doesn't have a console, donate it to a children's hospital, you know, whatever it is, like, you could actually go and do some good with your console. So, I'm not sure if I'm 100% convinced, although, once again, when it comes of this stuff like you could always just either sell it you know try try a different company where they don't require that all that type of stuff so uh i don't know it's 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 intriguing it's definitely intriguing and it is probably gonna be stopping scalpers because then if you are a scalper yourself you have to literally buy an extra ps4 I pro I'm assuming probably make sure it works. I'm sure not going to accept a broken one or at least not test it. And then you have to go from there. So that if anything, would probably be eating into a lot of profits. Would a lot be a lot harder to go and actually get the consoles. And obviously, it's a hiccup and hassle to have to go pick up a console, have it shipped to your house, or whatever it may be. So the retailer's new purchase requirement for the PS5 is expected to be implemented beginning on August 19th of 2022. Of course, being able to qualify for a PS5 purchase is also no small feat in itself, as it requires you to effectively win a lottery. Scalpers were able to circumvent the lottery system, however, hence the need for additional stipulation. Which, in all honesty, how do you somehow go and scheme through a lottery? Like, I'm actually genuinely kind of curious on that one. How does that go and work out? But the kind of, it's kind of an intriguing thing in my mind, mainly on the fact of, like, they just they have to have, like, three now different waves of systems and have IDs. Then go and have you have a raffle, and then have you go and trade in a PS4. Like, it's generally very, very hard now to go and get consoles in other regions, even now still. Especially now that we've been, uh, kind of, I think, almost in all honesty, somewhat kind of blessed, I guess, in America, that we've had such a big amount of stock available for everyone out here. So whether these new measures will keep scalpers at bay is anyone's guess, uh, but it will certainly make things more difficult for anyone genuinely interested in buying a PS5 for personal use. So I don't know. I'm kind of very torn on this one because it is weird that you have to go give up your PS4. Like I said, if you're reselling into it, you're, they're probably still going to make money on their PS4. I think that's more of a net negative. But I do also enjoy the idea that you have to have some sort of prior like stipulation. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool to see if you had like a PS Plus account, maybe like maybe work with Sony offhand to see if that's possible. Like, hey, you've had your PS and PS Plus account for a year. You probably have a PS4. You probably have been in the system. You've at least given Sony money. And so at the end of the day, it's like something not that bad. I'm sure some scalpers out there may have already done that. But at the end of the day, I don't know. Like, it just seems like a somewhat slightly weird system. Like I said, it kind of just reminds me of how GameStop would expect you to trade in, and you could also make an extra 50 bucks on your console or donate it or give it to a brother or sister, like I said before. But at least they are still attempting to go and stop scalpers, and they are attempting their best to go and help this, well, really weird cause. And it does think, too, because Japan, India, China, all these locations are still in such a big supply drought. Like, I think at this point, we've sold, like, getting close to probably, like, 10 million-plus consoles probably in America, while Japan, I think, is at, like, a million, if even that. And don't forget, Sony is literally a Japanese company, so it's almost, like, weird that their hometown is still having so many struggles, to the point where we've only seen a few thousand PlayStations restacking throughout an entire country of millions upon millions of people. It does make the whole situation a little bit of a weird, weird mess. So at least on the bright side, though, Hiroki Toki has said that they will be improving the PS5 stock situation. And so far in America, it has been done. So hopefully we'll keep on, the keep, see, keep on seeing this continually getting better as time goes on. And hopefully more non-scalpers have a chance to go get their consoles. So very intriguing. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon 
links down below the twitter and twitch stream down below the target links as well down below and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place